Here are three reasons why I'm still buying Cosmos's native token called Adam. Reason number one is because, hypothetically, I still think it has a lot of room to grow. Even though nothing I say is financial advice nor a guarantee, but let's just put this into perspective real quick. If, let's say, Adam were to go to the price of $200 during this bull run, you know, that right there is around a 50x from here. Now, just put this into perspective again, right? If, theoretically, I were to put a grand right now into Adam, and let's say, again, they were to go to the price of $200, a 50x from here, at that point, that one grand would hypothetically be worth 50 grand. Now, of course, that's, again, non-financial advice, but the way I take a look at it is that that's kind of crazy to think about. Because when I take a look at Adam, you know, it's not like this small cap or like micro cap where the risk is like so high, but then at the same time, it's not something that's way too high to the point that it kind of becomes like a dinosaur and then there's no more room to grow. You know what I mean? It's not like a BNB, you know, it's not like a, you know, Solana, Ethereum, or like a Bitcoin where it can't do, like, let's say over a 20x during this bull run from the point they are in as of right now. So that's what I really like about it because a lot of people out there, they like to tell me, yeah, take a look at this micro cap, take a look at this small cap, whatever the case may be, right? But then if the project has like a $100,000 market cap or like 50,000 or like, you know, something low like that, that right there is just something that's very risky for me. That's a little bit too much for my appetite. You know what I mean? My goal is to look for projects that are pretty massive, but not too massive. You know what I mean? It's like something that's relatively proven, that has a strong community, you know, great exposure, but at the same time, again, it's not a dinosaur. And that's the way I take a look at Cosmos because it kind of fits the bill. You know, it's a project that's not too massive, but again, it's not too small where it's too risky. At least that's the way I take a look at it. And going to the price of $200 for Adam, isn't this crazy random nonsense pipe dream? No, that's not the case because... You know, if it were to go to that price, considering current circulating supply, market cap would be around $78 billion. You know, I don't see why this is crazy at all, to be honest. Now, some people may think that this is crazy, but I disagree because you take a look at Dogecoin. You know, that even reached over $80 billion of market cap back in 2021. I mean, come on. That's kind of catca. And also, you take a look at BNB. BNB at one point reached over $100 billion of market cap. And as of right now, it's kind of close to that again, right? Like 80 plus billion. But even besides that, if you actually take a look at the BNB chain, it's actually a Cosmos based blockchain. And now this may not make sense right now to some people, but it's going to make sense later on in the video as I explain what Cosmos is all about. But if you take a look at it, if something that is a Cosmos based blockchain can reach over $100 billion in market cap, and if Dogecoin can reach, you know, over $80 billion in market cap, why can't Cosmos, you know, have its native token called Adam go to at least around a $78 billion market cap? You know, why can't it do that? You know what I mean? The way you take a look at it is that like Cosmos, it's basically like the daddy of like BNB chain. You know what I mean? But yeah, if something like that can again reach over $100 billion, Adam around $78 billion, I just don't see why it'd be too crazy. At least that's the way you take a look at it. So when it comes to Cosmos, it's really a no-brainer pick for me. Yes, it's a pretty massive project, but I still think there's hypothetically room for growth still left in the gas tank, so to speak. And now, the second reason why I'm still buying Cosmos is because I think it has amazing fundamentals. You know, if you actually take a look at it, what is Cosmos all about, right? You know, the Cosmos blockchain utilizes a proof-of-stake consensus algorithm called Tenermit. And Tenermit makes it possible for Cosmos to process up to 10,000 transactions per second. So yeah, that's crazy right there. Caralho! Boha! Not to mention, if you actually take a look at it, you know, Tenement, they actually created a toolkit called the Cosmos SDK. Now, SDK stands for Software Development Kit, but even besides that point, you know, this SDK makes it possible to build application-specific blockchains. And here's where things get a little bit cooking, and this is going to harp to the earlier point that I mentioned early on in the video, about the BNB chain, because if we take a look at it, there are currently over 50 Cosmos based blockchains. You take a look at, for instance, right? What do they include? You take a look at the BNB chain. So, again, you know, if you were in the beginning part of the video and you actually didn't skip to this part, you'll know that what I mean about why I think that Cosmos is the daddy of the BNB chain and why I do believe that when it comes to BNB, you know, at one point reaching over $100 billion in market cap. I just don't see why Adam won't hypothetically at least go to around $78 billion in market cap around that range during this bull run. But yeah, even besides that point, other Cosmos-based blockchains include something like Crypto.com's Kronos. That's massive. 
You take a look at Kava. I'm very bullish on that as well. Now, you also take a look at even Luna Classic. Now I get it. Luna Classic, as of right now, is a complete joke. I totally understand that. But still, even despite that, you take a look at in its heyday, it was actually very impressive. So actually, in hindsight, this is actually a very amazing thing. Now, some people may think that, okay, yeah, Luna Classic has no future from here on up. And I think this right here, if anything, is also currently a great example to use why I do believe Adam could still have a lot of room to grow. Because if you take a look at Luna Classic, I get it again. In its heyday, it was impressive. Had a major drop off, went to the abyss. You take a look at Do Kwon, even ran away to Europe, allegedly, got arrested, also allegedly. And we don't really know his whereabouts as of right now. At least I don't, right? It's not really reported. But even besides that point, what happened? Luna Classic eventually found a bottom and then it pumped. That's kind of crazy to think about. Sometimes in the world of cryptocurrencies, things just pump, you know, when people want to FOMO into it. So if something like Luna Classic can find a good recovery, right? Why can't Adam hypothetically at least go to the price of $200 during this sport? That's just the way you take a look at it. If Luna Classic can pump, if Litecoin can pump, if something like Klima Dow can find a bottom, I just don't see why Adam would do bad, especially when I consider, again, the Cosmos SDK, when I consider the aspects of Tenement. I mean, God, are you? you know, I just don't think it's too much to ask for. Not to mention, you have to take a look at when it comes to these Cosmos-based blockchains, sometimes he will do wonder, okay, what's the glue, so to speak, that connects all of them together, so to speak, right? It's something called IBC. Now, IBC stands for the Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol. Now, it may sound kind of fancy, but again, what this does is that it's basically like a glue, so to speak, that connects all of these Cosmos-based blockchains together. And any other blockchain out there that does have IBC enabled can easily transfer assets to and from any other blockchain that, again, has IBC enabled. So if you think about it, the way I take a look at it is that Cosmos is a very special project. Is it the most fancy? Is it the most flashy? Absolutely not. You know, there are many more flashy projects out there like meme coins and whatnot. But even though this project, quote unquote, may seem boring to some people, I think there's beauty and simplicity because you take a look at Cosmos. It's very amazing. Fundamentally speaking, there's many Cosmos based blockchains out there. And not to mention, you know, again, sometimes there's beauty and simplicity. You know, Cosmos, it's not too overly complicated where it's very difficult to understand, but then it's not too simple either where it just feels like a dull thing, so to speak. It's not, right? So when I take a look at Cosmos, fundamentals are amazing. It's really such a no-brainer pick for me. And now, the third and final reason why I'm still buying Adam is because I think that this boron could be so special. Over half a billion crypto owners, according to Crypto.com research, more than ever before in history. You take a look at the Bitcoin ETF, the Ethereum ETF, the number of institutional investors, enterprise adoption, just all through the roof. So when I take that into consideration, I just don't see why this bull run would be so bad. If anything, I think it's going to be spectacular, but it's going to take some time. So that's why I'm still going to dollar cost average into Adam. I'm going to wait because I think around six months, the year from right now, things could be very different because $200 during this bull run, that right there wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. And that's why I'm still buying Adam. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's Wendy the Captain, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm a peace. Bye.